You're not going anywhere. Do I ever? I might be the Count of Monte Cristo for all I see of the outside world. Oh, they were going to make a musical of that. My agent said I was a natural for the spirit of the key. Whatever went wrong? There's no such part. Sissy, <laughs> what was I saying when Dolly interrupted? You were complaining about the food, Flora. Not without cause. I shall keep that egg. <laughs> I mentioned food. I said I never went out. You're right. We don't get out enough, do we, Sissy? Flora doesn't. What do you know about it? Oh, I've been very worried about you, Flora. You've been looking ever so peaky lately. This morning, when I brought you your tea, I thought you were dead. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you. <laughs> Just as a matter of interest, what did you do about it? I folded your hands across your chest. <laughs> I wonder why I woke up with a cramp. <laughs> well, as you're so worried about me, we will go out for the day. We'll go to the beach. I feel like a game of rounders. We can't go today. Why not? Lost the stumps again. It's raining, so. It'll ruin my set. Oh, isn't it marvellous? One drum of rain and you're back down your holes like rabbits. It's times like this that I long for Mr. Petty. Why? Did he have an umbrella? <laughs> we'll go tomorrow. We can't go tomorrow either. Snow forecast again? <laughs> oh, Flora, I hope not. We'll all slide off. Slide off what? The church roof. She hasn't been taking her tablets again. <laughs> what church roof? Ours, dear. St. Michael and all angels. Well, that lets me out. I'll go and light a candle. What are we doing <laughs> on the church roof? Mending it. Why, what's the matter with it? It's got a hole in it. How'd you know been flying low again? <laughs> I met the vicar in the fish shop. He's ever so worried. He can see the sky through that roof. Oh, I see. And you told him that Katie, Dolly, you and I would shin up a ladder and mend it. Yes, and Mildred. Oh, that makes all the difference. Now we're in with a chance. I <laughs> gave him my word. Well, you'll just have to ask for it back, won't you? Have you forgotten the harvest festival? My marrow? What did the vicar say? Artificially induced. And all I did was to wrap it up in a cardi. My mustard and crest was highly commended. Well, if that wasn't artificially induced, I'd like to know what was. She grew it on her flannel. <laughs> I think I'm going to be sick. Oh, where's my wind carnets? Oh, got the shakes, have you, dear? Laura, please, all joking to one side, I need this. I've had such an argy-bargy with the Padre. He wants us to mend his roof. Mend it? Nothing. He wants us to pay for it. Oh, what's he wrong, is this thing? I hope I'm as religious as the next man, but I said to him, Vicar, I said, damn it all, we are on fixed incomes. You go to the working classes, I said. Bikes at the front door, jags at the back. <laughs> but at Paradise Lodge, the cupboard is bare. Quite right, Mildred. Every bit I have over goes to the actor's orphanage. Mine goes to donkeys. <laughs> they grow old, you see. Oh, isn't it marvellous? All these years I've dwelt amongst the heathen without knowing it. Actors orphanage, worn out donkeys, and there's that nice, kind Christian vicar serving his flock in a sou'wester. I have heard the call. The ladies of Paradise Lodge are in committee, sissy. Fetch me gavel. Why are they holding a committee meeting? Raising funds for the new church roof. They're full of ideas. They've written to the Queen Mum. Saying what? Asking to open the new baby show. Baby show? What baby show? No, they've scrapped that, Rog. No babies. They're into safari parks now. Oh, this is ridiculous. A coffee morning? Yes, a friendly <coughs> bring and buy. I wouldn't say no to a wine and trees. Nor would I. But that wouldn't raise 500 pounds. 500 pounds? What are you telling me? What are you saying to me? It's true. They phoned the vicar and asked him how much he thought he'd need. And he said 500 pounds for my ladies? A man's mad. 25 pounds would be more than generous. <laughs> Baby shows, safari parks. Oh, what will they think of next? But would Princess Grace go on a sponsored walk? <laughs> My friend Sula married. Oh, I can rely on that, can I? 
I don't like your tone. I don't like being let down. <laughs> Who's let you down, then? Go on, who? Well, shall I put it this way? Did Kojak come and carve our Christmas turkey? <laughs> <laughs> he sent a card. I never saw it. It wasn't addressed to you. <laughs> if we all wore our oldest clothes, perhaps we could do it ourselves. Do what? She's up on that church roof again. <laughs> Give her a hammer and a four-inch nail and she's a right little Christopher Wren. We could try. Oh, come down to Earth, city. <laughs> you get dizzy in a Cuban eel. Perhaps I could do something rather unusual on my Honda. Like what, for instance? Stop at a red light. Sergeant Hubble was very unfair about that. Why don't we do a show? Oh, do be realistic, Dolly. How can we possibly... Do a show. <laughs> ah, Mrs. Petty says, have you got any old brocade? Brocade? Why does she want brocade? Costumes. Costumes for what? March of the Siamese children. Siamese children? <laughs> We're doing the King and I. <laughs> does the vicar know? Do Rogers and Hammerstein know? I don't know. Can't stop. Where are you going? Shave me head. Tell me down. <laughs> Only one thing for it. Ah. Yes, Mrs. Petty, I know you want briquettes. No, I don't. Oh, what do you want? Blackout curtains. Blackout curtains. For the nuns. In the King and oh. I? We're doing the sound of music now, Morse Cope. Oh, yes, indeed. How do you solve a problem like Maria? Thank you, Miss Milton. Auditions at 12, and I make no promises. <laughs> Oh, Vicar, you saved me a call. Now, about your roof. All right, all right, I'm ready. <laughs> who shall I ask to come in first? Open the door and see what falls through. <laughs> what shall I do, Flora? You can be my backup man. Oh, lovely. What does it mean? It means you sit in that chair and don't fidget. I'm very free. I've already cast you. You're a non-speaking nun. Oh, <laughs> Dolly, I've got a lovely part. It's absolute soup. Hello, Flora. I thought I'd kick off. When you are ready, Mrs. Love, I'm a very busy woman. Oh. I can see which way the wind's blowing in here. Where's the pianist? Pianist. I can't work without a pianist. Sissy. Yes, dear. You're a pianist. I thought I was a backup man. You're a pianist as well. <laughs> a pianist. <laughs> a pianist. Just a minute. Just a cotton picking minute. Can you sight read? I won't need to, dear. I can play it by heart. Play what by heart? The Merry Peasant. But I'm not singing the Merry Peasant. <laughs> so, like I said, can you sight read? I'll do my best. And a very good best it will be. <laughs> It was never like this with Jack Buchanan. <laughs> right. I'll count to three. One, two, three, four. Yes! By Rudyard Kipling. <laughs> if you can keep your head when all around are losing theirs and blaming it on you. Yes. If Mildred, I... am I invisible? Oh. Have I jumped the gun? You've jumped the queue. Sit in the chair and wait your turn. Sorry. <laughs> Mrs. Love's introduction again, please. <laughs> <laughs> this belonged to my sister who leapt over the wall. Do you think it needs a cup in it? Oh, Katie, when I said you were non-speaking, well, I, I did it. I did mean it. Tuck it. <laughs> Do you want Dolly's intro again? Not particularly, but do go on. <laughs> There's a rainbow round my shoulder And a sky of blue above Just a minute, just a minute. <laughs> that is not from the sound of music. I never said it was. Well, it's got to be. I knew you'd say that. So I brought this. So see, play that. <clears throat> I am sixteen going on seventeen. You've got to be joking. <laughs> this isn't an audition. 
But you should. This is a debacle. <laughs> Don't you swear at me. <laughs> I've tried to give you my rainbow around my shoulder. I've tried to give you my I am 16 going on 17. Once and for all, do you or do you not want my lonely goat herd? No. <laughs> well, that's it then, isn't it? I wash my hands of the whole thing. As God is my witness, I swear I'll never work with amateurs again. Ah, oh, here you all are. Oh, where are the other ladies? If you mean my chorus, they're in the garage climbing every mountain with Roger. <laughs> now, that is precisely what I want to talk to you about. This whole idea of the sound of music is a non-starter. Then how are we going to raise 500 pounds? You're not going to raise 500 pounds. Then who is? The vicar. He's putting on a little show. It sounds heb. Mr. Maddox from the library is going to saw his wife in half. Sergeant Hobble's throwing knives at a lady in a swimsuit. I can still get into my purple two-piece. <laughs> no, that's not so nice. Aren't we doing anything? Oh, yes, indeed. Once I told the vicar we had a lady here with talent and ability. What does he want me to do? <laughs> well, that will depend on your producer, Mrs. Petty. Mrs. Love, I'm sure you can fill a ten-minute spot. Oh. Well, it's rather short notice, but uh, I suppose I could hold auditions. Flora. Yes, darling, what can I do to help you? What would you like me to do? Oh, Sissy, I have the nasty little thing. Oh, Mrs. Pett, oh, please don't touch. I should be perfectly all right, however seriously ill I may be. Sissy, what did I do with that will fingers and half a sausage. Where's the other half? I was hungry. Oh, <laughs> so much. Wait a minute, I know these fish fingers. They're yesterday's. What do you have today? Macaroni cheese. Oh, why didn't you smuggle me some of that? I like that. I did try, Flora, but it all fell through the holes. What holes? In my string bag. <laughs> There's a nasty stain on the carpet. There'll be two in a minute. <laughs> How do you expect me to lie here dying if you're going to starve me to death? There's jelly for tea. Oh, very nutritious. Oh, yes. Raspberry. What's that coming up in a paper hat? <laughs> I don't think there are any. <laughs> How long have I been bedridden now? Since just before lunch. As long as that. <laughs> and I've yet to see a doctor or the vicar or a bunch of grapes. <laughs> if I was a motherless kitten, they'd feed me hourly from a fountain pen. <laughs> Did you tell them I was dying? Oh, yes, Flora, twice. What'd they say? Well, Mildred said you'd had a good innings. Katie said, in the midst of life, we are in death. And Dolly said, the show must go on. I beg your pardon? Dolly said, the show must go on. But they cancelled it. No. They didn't cancel it? No. That is civilization for you, isn't it? In a tribal village, they cover me with clay, paint me white, and dance round me for a week. <laughs> oh, dear. Open that wardrobe. <coughs> this one? No, the other one. Come on. <laughs> Get out my variegated floral two-piece, my diamante elephant brooch and the shoes that pinch me feet. What are you going to do, Flora? Do? There's only one thing to do. Recover. <laughs> Sorry I'm late, dear, but Flora was Don't asking... apologise to me. Apologise to your fellow artist. Oh, I'm sorry. What? I'm sorry I'm late, dear, but Flora was we asking... We know about Flora. She's upstairs dying. Yes, and but I'm she's... sure we're all very sorry, but that won't get the show on the road. Right, ladies, positions, please. Three little maids from school, from the top, yum, yum, in the... Yes? Yum, yum. Oh. That's me, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> and I stand next to Pete Bow, don't I? <laughs> Where is Katie? If only I knew. Out buying an ounce of quick knit, I shouldn't wonder. <laughs> <laughs> and what's the matter with Pity Singh? Pity Singh is trying to remember the words of if. 
Well, if she does, and if she says them, she's in for a fourthly one from her producer, isn't she? <laughs> now then. From the top, on three. One, two, and three little maids from school are <laughs> <laughs> three. But as a school girl, well, ah, here you are, are you are I thought you were at death's door. I rallied, but don't let me interrupt you. I will sit on the sofa quiet as a mouse and read my true romance. You won't even know I'm in the room. Now, you all heard her say that. Right, we'll try again. On three. One, two, and three little maids from school of me. Mildred's ankles do look funny. Mildred's ankles do look funny. What? <laughs> What's happened to my ankles? Oh, I never voiced my thoughts out loud. What <laughs> must you think of me, Dolly? Do you want me to tell you? <laughs> oh, I do apologise, but when one is fond of someone... Hang on, hang on. I asked you a question. What's wrong with my ankles? Well, I don't know. I'm sure. What did the doctor say? <laughs> Haven't seen a doctor. Oh, you're going straight to a specialist. Perhaps that's just as well. <laughs> Surgery over, is it? <laughs> Again. One, two, and... You know, she's quite right. They do look a bit puffy. <laughs> they always look puffy. Face it, Mildred, you have got puffy ankles. I have not. Now, let's think for a moment what could have caused it. Oh, I know what caused it. It's all this standing about. I'm sorry, Dolly, but from three little maids, take one away. <laughs> Did you have to tell me you're walking out? Why, and I still can. Thank God for witch hazel, I say. <laughs> now then, Dolly, big girls don't cry. <laughs> You've done it, haven't you? I'm sorry, dear. You wrecked my shoe. Oh, how can you say that? You've still got Sissy. Sissy? She wouldn't make a glove puppet. <laughs> you know what you are, Flora Petty? You're a saboteur. <laughs> if I had my way, you'd be shot without a blindfold. Blindfold? That gives me an idea. Sissy, fetch me a blindfold. Shall I fetch you a gun as well, Flora? What? For a mind reading it? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen and vicar, as you can see, I am completely blindfolded, but such is the mystic link between my gypsy soulmate and myself. <laughs> that what she sees, I see. Your amazement will be great, but I must ask those of you with nervous dispositions not to gasp or scream. Are you ready, Dolores? <laughs> Dolores! Dolores! Speak to Ramona! What is the matter? My bangle's caught. <laughs> My other bangle. Oh, come here. <laughs> now, what are the objects I have got to identify without seeing them in order? Spectacles, ring, and then wristwatch. Spectacles, wristwatch, and then ring. I'm sorry, Flora, but it is a lot to remember. Yes, it is. <laughs> Do it again. Spectacles, wristwatch, and then ring. Ten out of ten. Can I put the telly on? No, you cannot put the telly on now. This is our last chance to have a dress rehearsal in our dresses. Now, are your bangles all right? Yes. You don't want to go anywhere? No. Right, then we're off. I will now ask my partner to pass among you. Are you ready, Dolores? Yes, I am ready, Ramona. <laughs> will some kind gentleman... <laughs> What's the matter now? You didn't say I had to pass among gentlemen. <laughs> well, you can't only pass among ladies. People will think it's a fix. <laughs> Will some kind gentleman please place a personal object in Dolores' hand? Tell me when you are ready, Dolores. <laughs> I am ready, Ramona. I have something in my hand. What can it be? What can it be? It's the ring, dear. Come on, three hours, we keep three hours, and you still don't get it back. And it could have been the spectacle. <laughs> if you tell me what the 
object is. How are the audience going to think of us, human, human powers, try again? <laughs> what with, Flora? The ring or the watch? <laughs> it's a good thing I'm not throwing knives. <laughs> the spectacles or the ring or the wristwatch, it doesn't matter as long as you give me the right code. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'm ready, Ramona. I have something in my hand. No, I haven't. <laughs> now I have. What can it be? What can it be? You'll see through it, Ramona, in no time. That's two codes. <laughs> it's either the wristwatch or the spectacles. Yes, you're right, Ramona. But which? Speak to me again, Dolores. Just a minute, Flora. Ah, you are holding a wristwatch in your hand. <laughs> no, I'm not. Then you should have been. <laughs> you said just a minute. <laughs> that wasn't the code. I was going to say, just a minute, you're being short-sighted. That's too close to go. There's only one thing for it. Come here. What are you going to do? Here, put this on. Oh, Flora. Oh. Flora. Am I going to be Ramona? Yes, you're going to be Ramona. Oh, this is easy. <laughs> and are you going to be Dolores? Flora. <laughs> <laughs> Is an honor. How are you feeling better, dear? Why? Oh, my heart bled for you in that lounge. You could have fooled me. Oh, I bled. <laughs> ankles or no ankles, I would have gone on, and so would you. That is where you and I are alike, Dolly. We see things through. Having problems with Sissy, are you? <laughs> Don't misunderstand me. I will not have one word against Sissy. She's a fool. I agree with you. <laughs> but you know what we should have done, Dolly? You and I should have done an act together. Doing what? Singing sister, sister. <laughs> Charlie, that's inspired. <laughs> Not bad, is it? Do you know the words? Enough of them. I think I've got <laughs> the music somewhere. All we need is a couple of goes on the piano. What's that? The merry peasant and all the white notes. Come on. <laughs> Never mind Ramona, off that stool. Hang on, hang on. She's rehearsing. She's what? Bad news, I'm afraid. The vicar's overrunning. What? We're down to a two-minute spot. And I'm doing it. But Jolly and I are singing sisters. <laughs> oh, what a lovely idea. But out of the question. The vicar wants to keep it classical. So I'm doing the merry peasant. Oh dear, isn't that nice? <laughs> and you're not to worry. Oh, I wasn't going to, Flora. Even though that piano stool does stand on top of a trap door. <laughs> it doesn't. <laughs> does it? It will. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.